Hi, everybody. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hi, Norberto. Hello. How are you? How are you? Um, I'm fine. I'm tired. All right, everybody. So super nice to see you. I see we have a we have very nice attendance. Give me one second. I'm still listening to. Hello. 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 Hi Ricardo, good evening. Hi Richard. Hi. Wow, I guess I guess Ricardo is on the good way. Good evening, teacher. Are you writing? Hi Dave. So it looks like he is kind of out. Guys, me escuchan, me escuchan doble or can you hear me well? No. No, no, teacher, Very good. está bien. Well, okay, oh, amazing, amazing. Thanks a lot. So, thanks a lot for joining today's class. Eh, today, well, ya casi terminamos, you know, la, esta semana, so it's almost over, right? Y casi terminamos también la semana número dos, like in a very general way. Un segundito, y me ya está seca. So as we always do, let me go over attendance. So let me check your attendance super quick. Si me pueden ayudar con su camarita, eh, just for some seconds, that would be amazing. Okay, let me just go ahead and check it out. Hold on, hold on. So my first person is always Ana Delby. So Ana, I don't know if you are around. Oh, sí, ahorita viene. So she is coming. Okay, so she is right there. Uh, my second person is uh, Brenda. So I think I saw Brenda right there. Yeah. Hello, Miss, how are you? Todavía en el trabajo. Are you at work? No. 
at home. home. Ah, okay, okay. Glad to hear that. Super nice. A uh, Brian. I think I see Brian there. Jasmine. Jasmine. Yes, I am. Sorry. Thank you, Brian. No worries. Thank you, Miss. Thanks a lot. Uh, Danny. Danny Anthony. Lo voy a hacer un par de segundos. Hola. Hi, teacher. Ready. Very nice. Danny. Hi, teacher. Present. Thank you. Jason. Ready, Danny. Ready. Present. Thank you, Miss. Okay. Thank you, Daisy. I'm glad you're back. I see Giovanni. Hello, Giovanni. No, no. Ya está ahí, Giovanni. Yes. Natalie, hello, Natalie. Hello, I see teacher. Your, I see you're driving, so thanks a lot. Gracias por unirse, Miss. Thank you so much. Jackie. Be por ahí conectada Jackie, but yes, there you go. I, okay, I can, yeah, ahora sí. I can hear you now. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Jocelyn. Present. Thank you. Uh, Norberto, Norbert. Present teacher. Thank you. Claribel. Todavía no. Hello, hello, Miss. Oh, there you are. Thank you. And uh, Moses. Moses, Moses. Present. Thank you, Moses. Good evening. Hello. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, so Miriam is here. Moses is here. Pedrina? Pedrina. Okay, I don't think I see her. Okay, Rene? Not yet. Ricardo, I heard Ricardo already. Sandra Abigail? Sandra. Thank you very much, Miss. And Sandra. Oh, Elizabeth. Yes, Thank teacher. you, Ricardo. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Please be careful. Be safe. All right. Okay, Hello, teacher. Ya pude. Yes, Pedrina. <laughs> good evening. Hey. Thanks a lot. Thank you entrar. so no much. <laughs> Ah, okay. Pero hoy sí le escucho, Miss. And thanks a lot for joining. Jancy, eh, Ana Jancy. Oh, Ana is not here. Okay. Super strange. She's super early. Ángel. No. Carlos. Por ahí ve Carlos. Some minutes ago. Hello, good yes, there you go. Thank you. And uh, Guadalupe. Yeah, there you Present go. Teacher. Thank you so much. And Ignacio. Ignacio is not here. Okay. Teacher. Marvin. Hello. Voy a apagar la cámara un ratito. Sí, no, tranquilo. No se preocupe. No worries. I got it. Okay. Ah, cero. Te va a poner la teacher. Hey. No. <laughs> no, I mean, it's like. Yeah. Ya, ya, ya llego, lo No sean malos. También a mí me va a poner cero porque la pago también. <laughs> no, guys, no, no worries. Ah, okay. Oh, very good. Be careful, please. So be very careful. Give me one second. No, no fuss. Okay, so Ingrid is right in there. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Miss. Yeah, I'm just like checking your message. No, don't be so mean. <laughs> she was like super early, but she was in the bus. Okay. Okay, guys. So thanks a lot for joining. Uh, today we have like a lot of things to check. Vamos a iniciar con this beautiful topic that is simple past tense, all right? And uh, so tell me, ¿cómo les fue con los verbos? Have you checked them? Se han tomado un par de minutos para revisar verbos. Oh, yes, tell me, tell me. Uh, and bet is a uh, apostar, va. Um, bet. Um, bet. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Bet and um, past tense, apostó. Yes. Ah, uh, es correcto, ok. Yes. O, o aposté. A, depende de cuál es el pronombre, uh -huh. right? Yo aposté, yes. ellos apostaron, nosotros uh -huh. apostamos, so it can be any of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. All right. 
Okay, so we are going to get started with this. Give me one second. Let me see if I can get a different computer. Hold on. So. Okay. No, no, no. I was just changing my computer. My computer. Yes. I was trying to get to a different computer. Okay, guys, so thanks a lot. Uh, now we are going to get straight with this topic. So we have a little conversation that we are going to practice, but I need you know, with this 10. And then, of course, we are going to practice yes, no questions. So, preguntas sencillas para que nos vayamos acostumbrando to this part of um, what are, you know, what is simple past, como lo uso en what are some of the changes that we normally do. So bear with me just a second. Okay, there we go. So let me, let me share my screen. Actually, this is in your material. So this is page number... Y una libra de sal. Sal cualquier. You know, for some reason, creo que alguien me dejó abierto el micrófono. I already muted you, but okay. If you can help me, that would be very nice. Okay, so first, uh, this is the objective for today. Describe past networking experiences and business events. And uh, we are going to talk about this, right? About business things and general experience using simple past. So to get started, I have a conversation between Luis and Janet, all right? So let me select just two people who can help me. Uh, Moses, can you be so kind to help me reading Luis, please? Okay. And uh, Jasmine, can you please help me read Janet? Okay, teacher. Thank you, hello. Okay, uh, did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I update my networking skills. I need to move from smart to smart type. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged Bushini's cars with 10 people. Awesome. Okay, wonderful. Exactly. That sounds very nice to me. So if we pay attention, le está preguntando al pasado, but the person uses this, did, okay? So did you enjoy, did you make new contacts? So para dar inicio with this topic, vamos a trabajar un poquito con preguntas, okay? Normally, todos hacemos preguntas. We ask questions every day about activities that happen in everyday life, okay? So we ask like, comiste, fuiste, uh, revisaste, okay, etc. So let me share my screen and we are going to practice a couple of these questions. First, tenemos la pregunta, did you? If you remember, simple present, yo uso do and does. Nos vamos a olvidar ahorita del do, does, the ing, everything, y vamos a enfocarlos en, en did. Cuando escuchen did, sé que me está preguntando de ayer, okay, del pasado, de la semana anterior, el mes anterior, el año anterior, etc. Whatever event que ya pasó, okay? Did. Okay. Did you play soccer last week? Tengo solo yes. dos respuestas. I have only two ways to answer. Porque no me está pidiendo detalles. The person is not asking for details. Sino solo una respuesta sí o no. Right? Yes. So, yes. Y como oh. me pregunto con did. Okay. I'm going to answer con did. Or yes, yes I, I did. Si lo hice. Okay. Yes, I did. Or if this is negative. No, no. I Did, sí. y vamos a usar una contracción que es didn't. No, I didn't. Let me make this bigger. 
So let me make this a little bigger so you can have a better, uh, you know, better clarity about this topic. Let me just change a couple of things here and there you go. Okay. So those are the possibilities that we have. Yes, I did. No, I didn't because the equations are straight. So let me ask you some. Hey guys, did you play soccer last week? Yes, I did. Only Danis? What about the rest? Did you play yes. soccer? Last yes, week? I did. So Danis, no, Danis, no? Okay. Only two boys. Okay. What about this one? Did you eat dinner today? Did you eat dinner? I didn't. What yes, about I you? Did. Yes, sure. yes, I did. You ate yes, dinner? Yes, I did. Okay. Perfect, yes. perfect. What about this one? Did you read? I'm sorry, did no. you check? Did you check your English notes before classes? No. Sin pena. <laughs> yes, I did. No? Yes, you did? Uh, okay. No, I don't. I did you didn't? No, I didn't. You didn't? No, I didn't. Okay. No, Sorry didn't. about that. What about <laughs> last Saturday? Did you clean your house? Did you clean your room? Did you clean yes, last I Saturday? Yes, no, I did. Every day. Every day. <laughs> okay, that is says every day. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you did. Did you go to the? Did you do the yes, grocery shopping? So did you do the grocery? Compraron comida. Did you do the grocery? Did you go to the market or to the supermarket? It doesn't matter. Did you do the grocery shopping? Fueron yes, a comprar comida. Yes. Grocery, you grocery did. Is... <laughs> Grocery is todo lo que tenga que ver con comida, con alimentos, you know? You can uh, say, did you go to the no, supermarket? No, 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 ni maruchan. So, grocery is like vegetables, fruit, granos básicos, you know? Oh, okay. Um, for grocery, example, gro I don't go shopping. Grocery, grocery. I don't go shopping very often, so no voy a comprar zapatos or jeans or anything, but I do the grocery every two weeks for example, oh, okay. you know, so I buy food, okay? okay? Did you watch Netflix today? Did you watch Netflix? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. What did you watch? No, Tell me, I didn't. What did you watch? Uh, horror. Horror, okay. Uh, A horror thing. Uh, so, if you check it out, it's bien fácil hacer las preguntas. De, lo único que le voy a cambiar el do que usábamos antes es ahora voy a usar this. Y eso es yes. That's it. All right. Okay. Now, and of course, we can use some expressions, okay, para agregar un poquito de tiempo. We can use some words to talk about time. Let me make this a little um, smaller so I can include some expressions for time, okay. So we can have also like some time expressions here. Okay, time expressions. For example, yesterday, yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening, last Monday, last Tuesday, last Wednesday. So you can have That's days week. of the week, last month, all right? So you can also use last year, okay? So everything that refers to the past, that is super fine, okay? You can Peter, also use, antier, yes. Antier, no, no. Ayer, antier, antier. Okay, well, yesterday sister. is ayer, yes, sir, yeah. right? Pero antier, digamos que no existe. Let's say that it doesn't exist. Re, Entonces, no yesterday. Vamos a usar la siguiente. En vez de antier, usamos the day before. Before. The day before. El Or día. the day before yesterday, si quieres ser más específico. Ok. Y eso sería como nuestro antier, right? That is the mm, okay. one that we are going to use. The day before. Let me put some color. Um, y antier, antier. Um, no, <laughs> no, but but of course, si tiene el día, you can use it. I mean, if you have the day, you can mention the day. For example, last, eso sería last Monday, so, or last Monday. Tuesday. Uh -huh. So yeah. 
last Monday, last Tuesday, last Wednesday. So you can say the day to be very specific. Uh -huh. but, but digamos que antier, anti antier, no, no lo vamos a usar. No. <laughs> we are not going to use them, okay? Uh, are we okay with this? Las preguntas son super fáciles. That's super easy. Is that fine with you? Preguntas, questions, doubts, algo que quieran revisar? Is there anything you want to check? I guess, ¿no? Okay. Pues, teacher. Oh, yes, Pedrina. Teacher. Ah, teacher, o sea que ahí las preguntas casi si, son iguales a las usando el das o el do, yes. solamente que lo que cambia es el di, el, el di, ¿verdad? El pasado. Exacto. Porque, no. remember, decíamos oh, ayer, do and das no significan nada. Solo sí, me da no. la idea que es pregunta. Uh -huh. Entonces, ahora el did, lo mismo, no significa, no significa nada, nada. Pero me da la idea que es una pregunta en pasado. Uh -huh. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. That's the idea. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Gracias. So, what I want you to do is ask questions. Okay, ayúdenme escribiendo cinco preguntas. Help me ask questions. It can be about last vacation, yesterday, last week, last Monday, last Tuesday. Any question, ahorita solo estamos con sí o no. Preguntas cortitas, like, yes, I did, no, I didn't, right? Did you do exercise today? Did you have breakfast today? Did you eat a lot of pupusas last week, okay? Did you play with your dog or cat or your baby, okay? Did you visit your friend? Did you work the last week? Did you work exactly last Saturday or did you work last Sunday? Okay. Sure, uh, yes, I did. <laughs> Norberto, tell, oh, Carlos, tell me. Siempre vamos a escribir en el chat. Su forma simple. Les puedo escribir en el chat or on a piece of paper. That's okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Carlos, tell me. El verbo siempre va a ir en su forma simple. Yeah, exactamente así sin ningún cambio. No changes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. For example, Brian says, did you visit the beach last weekend? That's a very good question. No, I didn't. <laughs> That's so sad. Who visited the beach? Can fue a la playa? Did I... you visit the beach? Danny? Only Danny, yes. guys? Nobody yeah. else? Nadie más fue a la playa? Nobody else? Uh, can be in El Tunco? Oh, uh, but, oh, no, I didn't. Jansi no está acá. That's Nada, no está. Ah, uh, no, ya me escribió. Yeah, she doesn't have internet. Está surfeando. Uh, <laughs> well, she says there is no internet. Lo que pasa es que creo que está lloviendo en algunas zonas. Yes, yeah. So that means the that rain. Did yeah. you drink beer yesterday? Did you play the guitar last month? Okay. Uh, did you drink coffee, a coffee cup yesterday? A very good question. That's good. I like it. Very good structure. Very good vocabulary. Sounds good. Okay. Did you study English last week? Okay. Aparte de la clase, right, Brenda? <laughs> like minutos extra outside your class, I guess. Okay. Sounds More good. Teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sounds super good. Did you work yesterday? Yes, Norberto. Every day. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you brush your teeth today? Sure, I do it every day. So we have like yes, no things. Uh, at the moment, you know, at this moment, no nos vamos a complicar mucho como, como le puedo responder, all right? Sino solamente entender que me, que me está preguntando to get this idea. From the moment que escuchamos did, ya mi cerebro se va al pasado. Okay. Ah, me está preguntando de ayer, me está preguntando de la semana anterior, algo que ya está done. All right. So, your questions are very good. Very, very nice. Are we okay? Any question? Ya tiene las cinco. Do you have the five questions ready? Anthony, ready, ready? Yes, teacher. Amazing. You're super fast. Okay. Did you visit the mountain last month? All right. They are very good questions. Guys, if you have dudas, let me know. Hey, Marvin, nice to see you. Hi, Angel. Thanks a lot for joining as well. Hi, teacher. 
Did you sleep in yesterday? Okay, yeah, that's all right. Uh, Ingrid, tell me. Una pregunta, o sea, yo ahorita me tuve que salir y como que me descontinué de lo que estaban haciendo. Eh, okay. Pero el did, el did es igual que en las otras, en las que estuvimos viendo ayer, que mm, hay el do en cierta manera en algunas oraciones no significa nada. O sea, solamente tomamos como el did, es como el did solamente como que, ah, me, 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 me ubica de que me está preguntando algo del pasado, pero no significa nada. That's correct. Eh, gran, ah, digamos que en sentido de traducción no va a tener una, una traducción, ¿ok? Pero es un indicador que la pregunta va a ser en pasado, que todo es sobre ah, pasado. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Thank That you, is the idea. You. Yes, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Yes, guys, I'm super happy you got it. That's super nice because hacer preguntas en pasado a veces se vuelve un poquito difícil, but I'm super glad you got this part. So, great. Did you do your homework? Okay, that's a good one. Did you go to the supermarket? Did you? Okay. Not very, your question is very good. Quizás solamente el verbo por ahí se me saltó. Did you go on vacation or did you have vacation? Lo demás está super bien. The order is very nice. Did you buy shoes last weekend? Okay. Yeah, that's good. Good. Amazing, guys. Very good job. So, vamos a ir a practicar estas preguntas. We will go and practice. Remember, yes, I did. Si lo hice, yes, I did. Oh, sí, yo fui a jugar. Okay, yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. Okay, no, I didn't. didn't. That's it. Didn't. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. All right. So, allow me one. Oh, wait, wait. No soy el controlador. One second. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. Give me just a second. No me permitía do this. Okay, so, okay, there we go. So everybody, um, I will ask you, que nos unamos al grupo, please join the groups. We have five minutes para hacer las preguntas and practice. Okay, so let's get going, please.
Hello, guys, and thanks for coming back. So, I guess, well, I was listening to some of you, and I guess you were having fun practicing this part. Um, si no terminaron, it's okay. We will continue with this. La idea es hacernos preguntas, right? So, si se fijaron, la parte de hacer preguntas está super fácil, super easy. No vamos a cambiar el verbo, no le agregamos nada, solamente es did you, right? And uh, so, les gustaría compartir algunas preguntas. What are some of the questions you asked? Mientras el resto de compañeros regresan to. So, Guadalupe, help me please. ¿Cuál es alguna pregunta que tenga por ahí? Any question you have, any example? Teacher. I'm sorry, Miss, I couldn't hear you. No, teacher. Oh, okay, okay. So, ¿tienen alguna pregunta escrita? Did you write any question? ¿Escribieron alguna pregunta con D? Yo, Miss, yes. did, you visit, did you visit the doctor last month? Okay, did you visit the doctor last month? All right, thank no. you. No. No, 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 I didn't. No, I didn't. Did you change? No. Did you, did oh, you change the, the work last month? Ah, okay. Alguien se ha cambiado de empleo? Did you no. change your no, job last month? No, no, I didn't. No, I, didn't. I, right. can. no I didn't. I can't. I can't. Okay. No, no, creería no. que por el programa no, no, ajá, it will be hard, no. okay. Any other, otra pregunta, any other question? Sí, Did, you the beach last last Did you visit? Did you visit the beach last Saturday? Ah, okay, like going to the beach, creo que solo Danny, he goes every Saturday. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, yeah, that's I mean, nice. I'm, I'm And Claribel, I'm sorry, me decía? Mm -hmm. You? No, ya lo dije, no, Miss. No, no, no. Oh, escuché que alguien me contaba de Giovanni, pero I couldn't ¿Sí? hear the whole ¿Sí? idea. ¿Sí? Dígame, ¿Sí? tell me. Que le pregunta a Giovanni la que nos hizo la, la que nos hizo nosotros ahorita. Giovanni, ¿cuál es la pregunta? What's the question? Hey teacher, no, hombre, no, no les haga caso a estos <risa> Giovanni, ¿por qué? Alguna locura le preguntó. <risa> Actually, I, I wanna know. Espérame, voy a dejar de grabar. I will stop recording. Ya no estoy grabando. Solo les haré una para que, para que no piensen que eran cosas muy a three person. Okay. Three person. Yeah, your kids, I guess, your husband, yeah. your family. Okay. Oh, okay. No, that's a very good question. <laughs> Uh -huh. yeah. you have yeah. like children, yes. so your daughter, your son, exactly. your niece. Yes. So you have a, a lot. Uh -huh. yeah. you have a lot. Giovanni, Giovanni no pensó eso, Miss. Giovanni no pensó eso. No, of course, yes. <laughs> la reunión okay. no dijo eso, teacher. Está cambiando la versión. Ella ya cambió. Dime okay. one second, déjenme ver si sigo grabando. Ya, yeah, it's recording. Okay. <laughs> I need to record everything. No, but just in case, we never know. Okay, so let's continue with this part. And now, ayúdenme con la respuesta, right? Help me with this question. Veíamos antes la conversación entre Luis y Janet, okay? That is super short. Es la página 23, so you can go to your page 23. And basado en lo que escucharon, ayúdenme con esto. Did Luis go to the seminar? Yes or no? Yes, he did or no, he didn't. Luis. Yes. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, I did. Yes, he did. Number two. Did Janet update her networking skills? Did she update? Yes, he did. Yes, I did. Yes, she did. Ah, tendría que ser she, ¿verdad? Ella, ella sí lo hizo. Okay, yes, she did. Did Janet learn to go from a small to a smart talk? No, she didn't. What do you think? Yes. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. Is I learning? Pero dice, I learned. Okay, so she said... 
I learned to move from a sm small to a smart talk, okay? The answer is yes, she did. Ya vamos a ver un poquito de esta parte. ¿Qué significa entonces learn? Okay. ¿A qué se refiere cuando dice I learned? All right. Number four. So es la última pregunta. Did Luis is exchange business cards with 10 people? Did he exchange cards? Yes. yes. He did or yes. no, he didn't? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, exactly. Did. No, very no. nice. Very nice. Okay. Ahora sí, veamos un poquito de los verbos. Let's take a look at verbs. And the difference, ¿y a qué se refiere cuando ella dijo I learned? Ok, en inglés hay dos tipos de verbos. There are two types. Two types. Two types of verbs. Tenemos unos que le llamamos regular y tenemos otros que se llaman irregular no. verbs. Ok, regular. ¿Qué se les viene a la mente con la palabra regular? What do you think? Que son utilizables, que se utilizan muchas veces, regularmente. Que se utilizan muchas veces, regularmente. Right. Algo más, anything else. ¿Qué es algo regular? No importa si es pasado, Frecuente. presente o futuro. No oh, cambia yes. la forma natural del verbo. Que cambia la forma natural del verbo. Ok, por ahí vamos. Algo regular, you know, es algo que sucede mm. o que tiene como... Una estructura específica, you know, something regular es que sucede probablemente constantemente, ok, o regular es que hay algo en común. So, tomando en cuenta esta palabra en común, los verbos regulares solo le vamos a agregar ed al verbo, por eso se llaman regular verb. Todos los que entran a esta categoría solo se les agrega ed para pasado. Irregular oh. verbs son por eso irregulares, como la palabra lo dice. Que no tiene una lógica, ok. In other words, oh. regular verbs, todos se les haría ever. Irregular verbs, learn them by heart. ¿Qué significa? Que ni modo, chicos, hay que aprendérselos. So we have to memorize them, yes. okay. We have learn to learn them by, by heart. heart. So learn Teacher. by heart significa memorizar. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Una cuestión. ¿Usted cómo hizo para aprendérselos todos? No, no me los puedo todos. But, no, pero eh, los lo, lo, lo que, lo que se ha aprendido. Okay. A mí me funciona aprenderme, aprenderme los con música. You know, I'm a little bit musical in that. So, for example, I have eat y el pasado es ate, right? I have read, el pasado es read. No cambia cómo se escribe, sino la pronunciación. I have bet, write, bet teacher. el pasado es wrote. Wow. Bet, el wow. pasado es Right? I have come, el pasado es? Come. Ah, I came. I came. have go, and the past is? Went. Went. Excellent. Went. Went. I have see, and the past oh. is? Oh. So. 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 Okay. Oh. I have a drive, and the past is? Drove. Oh. Drove. Okay. Drove. So. What no. happens to me yes. is hacerlo musical, you know, like eat, ate, read, read, write, wrote, bed, mm -hmm. bed, come, came, go, went, see, so, drive, drop. So I memorize them como un poquito de música. But at the end, it's up to you si les funciona that way, o les funciona hacer planas, you know, o lo graban y uh -huh. ustedes lo escuchan después pues de su grabación. Yo, yo Teacher no debería de mandar uh, audios right, right. así para que nosotros digo, los repitamos yo, y los estén escuchando. Ah, ustedes me los van a mandar, así que wait. <risa> <risa> that is going to be your homework. <risa> Ricardo, tell no, me. Aquí, aquí no hay es una, una dificultad, teacher, porque yo siento que sí, vaya, no, bueno, en lo personal, yo he pensado hacer plana, porque siento que se me hace más fácil, pero en la pronunciación sí siento que voy a errar. Yo me los puedo aprender de memoria cómo se escribe y los puedo ver, ver cómo están escritos y me voy a acordar, pero la pronunciación ahí es donde me puedo confundir. Oh. Por eso Don't worry la about I have a little, actually, ten, tengo un, un par de ejercicios para ustedes que ya se los voy a compartir. Así que, it's totally fine. Eh, vamos a tener también tareita porque Simple Pass es un tema bien importante, you know. Um, uno de los elementos más fáciles de esta parte son los regular verbs. And uh, ya vamos a ver también what it is. Eh, Jess Guadalupe. Oh, 
Ingrid, I'm not sure. Una esa cuestión, eh, tal vez lo que estaba diciendo la compañera ahí de que nos mandara audios, eh, por ejemplo, de 10 en 10, que es creo de la pronunciación de los verbos, creo que también nos ayudaría un poco. No, tal vez nos ayudaría bastante, porque como dice Ricardo, podemos aprenderlos a, a hacerlos así, a escribirlos, pero a, a pronunciarlos, ¿no? Entonces, tal vez ahí quizás no sería tanta molestia que nos ayudara en eso. No, no, no sé, de correcto, correcto, sí, correcto, es verdad, porque eso me pasa a mí. Aquí, Yo aquí lo puedo tenemos... escribir y me acuerdo cómo se escribe, pero de, después no me acuerdo cómo se pronuncia. Correcto, ah, okay. correcto. Okay. Porque aquí it, estamos, estamos, estamos peleando con oído, eh, vista y, y escritura, por decirlo Exacto. así. Entonces, I no, totally no, understand that part. Ajá. But no Entonces, worries, no worries. Entonces, sí, de hecho, vamos a combinar las, de hecho, vamos a combinar las cuatro habilidades. Lectura, escritura, pronunciación, yes. and listening as well. Así que no eso, worries about it. Eso, eso sí tiene, tiene, tiene lo entiendo. Eh, porque, bueno, en lo personal, hoy se me hace un poquito más fácil. Eh, ya lo comprendo un poquito más. Entonces, a como, a como inicié, hoy ya estoy un poquito más avanzado. Eso sí tiene razón. Okay, I'm bien. super glad to hear that. Ok, but no worries. De hecho, los ejercicios son enfocados a eso. Así que, sí, wait, mire. wait. Mi crisis. problema más que todo, teacher, es la pronunciación. Ahí sí estoy perdida. Me cuesta. Oh, ok. Un Ok, we will check that in, into right now. Ok, so vamos a comenzar con estos regular verbs que son de los más comunes and they are, well, regular porque solo le vamos a agregar ed al final, ok? And then ya vamos a ver cuáles son las actividades que vamos a hacer para practicar un poquito pronunciación, a little bit of listening, comprehension y un poquito, you know, reading and everything. So we have, for example, open, we have clothes, we have wash, ok? We have dance, we have uh, travel, okay, we have smile, we have work, we have uh, walk, okay, we have clean, and we can start with those, all right, later vamos a ir agregando un poquito más. So, Because they are regular verbs, solo les voy a agregar el pasado, y di, esta ya tiene i, entonces no le voy a duplicar, solo di, wash, y di, dance, again, ya tiene i, no lo necesito, travel, y di, smile, ya la tiene, so, di, word, walked, and clean. Y eso es todo, that's simple pass. Yay, super easy. Ok, regular verbs. Son bien fáciles porque solo les agregamos ID. Okay? Bastante fácil ahí. So, ahí if you sí. take a look, it's ahí super, sí. super easy. Lo único que tenemos que memorizar cuál es regular y, e irregular, right? Eso hey, ahí el detalle. We have to. Hey, yes, <laughs> Now we, esa, we got esa es la sorpresa que trae. <laughs> ok. Now, Yo, ay, ahora sí no practiquemos. Eso no lo entendí, che, che, ¿cuáles son las, las, los verbos regulares y cuáles son los irregulares? Eso no lo escuché bien. No hay forma de saberlo, mi. There is no way to know. Ok. So, yo veo, por ejemplo, un verbo. I see, for example, this verb that is jump. Y no hay forma de, de, eh, que yo pueda saber si es regular o irregular. So, me puedo arriesgar y hacerlo regular para no. Yeah. Entonces, la forma más fácil es... You know, eh, practicarlos, escucharlos y a medida que usted vea cómo se escribe, cómo se usa, usted va a identificar inmediatamente cuál es el pasado. So jumped, eh, yo ya lo sé, ok, ya me los memorice, entonces yo sé que es, que es regular here. Pero no hay forma, there is no way to know. So es de memorizarlo. Now, uh, I need, yes, tell me Ricardo. Eh, y cuando Hola. eso de los regulares y regulares, tiende a cambiar mediante la oración. La, ¿cómo, se, ¿Cómo se conforma la oración? Um, También es un detalle que puede, puede uno eh, observar y decir, no, ah, este no. es regular, ah, este es no. irregular. No. Ah, okay. no, there is no way. No hay forma de saberlo. No hay forma de saber si se le agrega otra o cambia o si se le agrega eh, ED, you know, a menos que usted ya se lo haya aprendido. There is no other way. Uh -huh. Pero a medida que usted lo practica, a medida que se los practica, you get it. Uh -huh. So, now, in the meantime, vamos a practicar a little bit pronunciation. Si se fijan, acá les he escrito 
la letra D y la letra T, ¿ok? So, vamos a hacer un ejercicio de sonidos. We are going to do a little exercise. So, okay. I want you to, I want you to, necesito que hagan el sonido de T, de una T, pero solo el sonido, ¿ok? Like when you say tomate. So, T, T, T. That's it. Okay. Now, I want you to make un sonido de D, como cuando se dice dedo. D, D, D. 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 Okay. Okay. Now, vamos a combinar esos dos. We are going to combine them. So we have open, pero no lo voy a leer open it. No puedo. Solo voy a agregar este sonido nada más. En vez de la E D. Usted le va a agregar este sonido. Open the. Open the. Open the. Okay. Closed. Closed. Open. Ok. Wash. Wash. Y ahora le agrego este sonido. Washed. 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 Dent. I walked. 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 I walked. 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 Uh, remember, walked. la L no se la pronunciamos. Walked. I walked. I walked. Walked. Okay. Walked. I cleaned. I cleaned my house. I cleaned. 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 I cleaned. I cleaned. I jumped. I jumped. 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 Exactly. Jumped. Jumped. Very nice. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is the following. Quiero que me escribas un ejemplo. You know, pueden ser cinco oraciones, five sentences, utilizando regular verbs o irregular verbs. Cualquiera de ellos. Okay. Any of them. So, ¿cómo lo vamos a hacer? We can follow, we can follow this structure. Son bastante fáciles here. So, tengo subject. Luego el verbo, ahora sí, este verbo tiene que ser pasado, tiene que ser modificado, and then the complement, y eso es todo. That's it, okay? Subjects. So, subject. Necesito, like, at least three elements. For example, I have worked, okay? I worked until 4 p.m. on Saturday, okay? So, I worked until 4 p.m. on Saturday. Y yo ya estoy hablando de el sábado anterior, all right? Cuando se vea word, ah, ya se pasado, okay? Mm -hmm. I have, for example, eh, eat, ate, okay, es la misma estructura. I ate, ah, no, no comí. Okay, wait. <laughs> okay, I went to the, I went to my mother's house, to my mother's house last week. Okay, and that's it. So if you check it out, I have subject and verb. Subject and verb. Y el verbo ya está en pasado. The verb is in past. Are we okay with this? Estamos bien hasta, hasta ahora. Are we okay with this part? Yes, teacher. Okay, please, if you have any question, let me know. Sure, Tienen yeah, dudas, teacher, something yeah. is not clear, tell me. Norberto? Uh, sí, el did ahí no, no se utiliza. Bien. El did no se utiliza. Exactly. You don't need did. Okay, thank you. Vaya, mi amor. Vaya, vaya. Daisy, tell me, Daisy. Teacher, ¿y esas letras adicionales van escritas en la oración? Eh, eh, la no, palabra. Esas letras. No. Eh, Solo es la pronunciación. Exactly. Esta de acá 
solamente es para que ustedes tengan una guía de cuál es el último sonido que vamos a agregar, pero eh, no, no van agregadas. Si se fija acá, por okay. ejemplo, Word, ya no lleva nada más. Uh -huh. Gracias. You are welcome. <coughs> Hello. Eh, ¿Hay manera de saber eh, si va a terminar pronunciándose con T o con D? ¿O no? Todo siempre de aprendérselo. Sí, hay una forma. There is a way y ya lo vamos a practicar también. But before I want to get familiar with this, porque es un poquito divertida, digamos. <laughs> es no, graciosa la funny. forma de identificar. Ya. Yeah. Uh, if it is like D or T, but yes, there is D a way. Yes. Okay, can you give me some examples? So, what are your examples? What are your sentences? What did you write? ¿Qué escribieron? I traveled uh, at Chapasi in the week. Okay, that's okay. So I traveled to Chalchuapa. All right. What else? What else do you have? I ate pupusa yesterday. Really? Okay, okay, mm. nice. What else? Uh, I danced to my sister. Okay, so you danced with your sister. Okay, nice. What else? ¿Qué más? What else do you have? I washed my clothes yesterday. Okay, you washed your clothes. Excellent. Okay, anything else? Alguien más? Anybody? Okay. Yes? Okay. Can you repeat that, please? She read all today. Okay, she read. Very good. Very good. Your sentences are very nice. Okay. Now, eh, Guadalupe has like a very interesting question. ¿Cómo sé cuál es la pronunciación? How can I know what is the correct yeah. pronunciation for those words? Okay, easy. Acá tengo un par de verbos. Here I prepared a couple of regular yeah. words. Yeah. So, si se fijan, eh, Ana, Ana Yancy, is that you? Good evening. Hello, hey Ana. Eh, lo siento, pero les oh, Don't worry, I'm not, I'm glad you're ya here. Tengo inter. Ah, okay. Cool, cool. Thanks a lot. Gracias por por unirse a mí. Thanks a lot for joining. Gracias. Ok, there we go. So, decíamos que los verbos regulares solamente les voy a agregar ED, right? Um, I have to just mention something. En algunos casos vamos a tener que agregarle una doble letra, ok? Como cuando los verbos son pequeñitos and uh, tienen consonante, vocal consonante. So, we may, probablemente les vayamos a tener que hacer un pequeño cambio there, but lo vamos a ver luego, ok? Now. Here, if you pay attention, todos los verbos están en la forma normal. All of them are just in simple present tense, okay? And uh, ¿cómo sé cuál es la pronunciación? Vamos a enfocarnos en la pronunciación. And I want you like to, sé que va a ser como un poco gracioso, okay? But vamos a hacerlo de la siguiente forma. First, well, let me make this a little bit smaller. Okay. First. Si hay una forma de saberlo, but it's the following. Nos ponemos la mano en la garganta, ok, y vamos a ver si el verbo tiene vibration. Si cuando usted dice un verbo, vibra eh, la parte de las cuerdas vocales, ok. So if it has vibration. So, si tiene vibración, le, el sonido que le agregamos es un sonido de do, ok. No vibration, si no hay vibración, le agregamos un t. Ajá. Y si el verbo termina en T o en D, solo ad, le agregamos un sonido de id. Así completo, id, ok, or ever, whatever is okay with you. 
So, not mas common either. Okay. So, let's do a little exercise. Um, you can activate your camera. That's okay. Y vamos a iniciar viendo que sonido tiene vibración. Okay. So, put your okay. hand on your throat. Okay. And like, uh, yeah, abajito, you know, and, and vamos a pronunciar oh. primero las, las vocales. Okay. So, the vowels in English, todas vibran. Para que ustedes identifiquen qué es vibrar. All right. So let's do it. A. 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 E. 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 I. I. O. O. U. U. Se siente como que mueve algo, right? You feel vibration. A eso se le llama vibración. Se mueve la manzanita. Exactly, exactly. So, eso es vibración. Ahora. Para saber cuál es la pronunciación del verbo en pasado, the only thing that we do is exactly that one. Tengo, por ejemplo, accept. Ay, pero terminó con T. Entonces, no importa si hay vibración o no. Es lo que dice acá, que le voy a agregar el sonido de it. Ok. Voy a escribirlo con otro color. I'm going to choose a different color. So you can see the difference. Y se pronuncia como... Ah, no, wait. Accepted. Eso es todo. Accepted. La palabra okay. completa, accept. Okay? I have add. Remember, no estoy hablando de cómo se escribe, sino cómo se pronuncia. Okay? Yes. I have add. Pero add termina con D. Y acá ya dice que vamos a agregarle solo, entonces, otra vez el mismo sonido. Added. Okay? Added. O oh, yo le agregué algo. I added something. I added. Okay. Ahora, okay. tenemos la siguiente palabra. Admit. Uh, sorry, admire. Admire. Ahora, pónganse la mano en la garganta y pronuncien el último sonido. Admire. 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 El último sonido. Vibra. Yes. Entonces, como vibra, ¿cuál es la pronunciación del pasado? So, se pronuncia como ad, uh, so, lo pronunciamos como admired the, admired 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 right. I admired that person I admired the, okay admired. estoy exagerando un poquito el sonido but that's the way it is all right yeah. so what about the rest we have admit advise afford agree Alert. Alert. Allowed. Allowed. Voy a eliminar a mis. Okay. Allowed. We have analyzed. 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 Analyze. 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 ambas, but solo necesitamos una. We only need only one. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Announce. 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 Answered. Answered. Apologize. Apologize. Appear. Appear. Appreciate. Approve. Approve. Argue. 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 Argue is tener una discusión. Argue. Okay. Okay. Arrange. Arrange. And arrest. Arrest. Okay. Very nice. So, what I want you to do, the next exercise I want you to do, guys, is vamos a ir a los grupos y vamos a identificar cuál sería el sonido en pasado. Vamos a hacerlo juntos, all right, for uh, the practice that it requires. Solo recordemos, it's important que identifiquemos el último sonido. Hay vibración, le agregamos una D. No vibration, le agregamos un T. Ok? Y si termina con T o con D, as here, El sonido es completo. Accepted. Added. Okay. And there we go. So, I am going to invite you to go to the groups. Y luego venimos y lo compartimos. Okay. So, everybody, please go. Tenemos. Okay. Tenemos un no, solo deme un segundito. Porque por alguna razón se terminó. And ahora okay. sí. Okay. It's ready, ready, ready. We have five minutes. Para que se puedan poner de acuerdo. 20, 25. Yeah. Go, 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 please.
Pedrina le logra aparecer la invitación. No, no tengo. No tiene. Permítame no. un segundo. Pedrina. Ok, intenté ahora, por favor. Ahorita. Me confirma. Sí. Ok, perfecto.
no hay mucha luz para estar en la interna. Okay, guys, so thanks so much for coming back. Uh, I guess everybody's here now. So let me share my uh, presentation right there. So les he agregado los sonidos so you can compare what you have, okay, with the sound. Remember, eso no es como se escribe, sino como sería la pronunciación, okay? So please repeat after me. Accepted. 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 Adeb. Adeb. Admired. Admired. Admitted. 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 Advised. Advised. Afforded. 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 Agreed. Agreed. Alerted. Alerted. Allowed. Allowed. Analyzed. Analyzed. Announced. 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 Annoyed. Annoyed. Answered. Answered. Apologized. Apologized. Appeared. 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 Appreciated. Appreciated. Approved. Argued. Argued. Arranged. Arranged. Arrested. Arrested. Okay, and pretty much that's it. And that is simple past tense. Don't worry too much about this. Hello, Brenda. Repeat and la 16, please. Yeah, appreciated. 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 Like when you say gracias, <laughs> gracias, lo aprecio mucho. Oh, it's appreciated. 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 Yeah, okay. But don't worry. I mean, as much as we practice, eso se va a volver mucho más fácil. Así que you're good. Si todavía tienen dudas con la pronunciación, don't worry too much about this. Vamos a practicarlo en practice, en practice, until we get it right. Okay? Teacher, yes. si le den gol, ¿cuál es la pronunciación? I'm sorry. Uh, number 11. Unknown. Number 11. Announced. Announced. No. No. Okay, le agregamos un sonido de T. Announced. 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 A ver, everybody, vamos al sonido de T, porfa. Announced. 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 Help me with this verb. Hagamos uno más fácil, ¿ok? Let's do something uh, easier, ¿ok? What about wash? Digamos, wash. 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 Ok, wash. ahora agreguemos el sonido de T. Wash. 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 Uh, walk. Okay, digamos walk. 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 
Agrégueme la T. Work. Agrégueme la Work. T al final. Work. 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 Ok. So that is, the, that is the simple past pronunciation. Ok. As I said, vamos a tener una tareita de esto para que ustedes lo practiquen, you know, and you can be super, super fine with this. Now, revisamos a little bit this part. It says how to use simple past sentences and yes, no question. So, vamos otra vez a la parte de yes, no question. Uh, if you remember, las preguntas son super fáciles, solo es el did, ok? Now, sentences. I learned a lot. I updated. I exchanged. I didn't attend. Oh, no, 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 son negativas, pero ya lo vamos a revisar. We will check that in a moment, ok? Now, let's take a look at this. Vamos a, a escribir las preguntas. Vamos a hacer preguntitas acá in exercise number six. Complete the questions below with the verbs in parentheses. And then vamos a responder solo yes, I did, no, I didn't. Y eso es todo. That's it. So, ¿cómo podemos completar las preguntas? Did you attend? Did you attend to a seminar last month? Yeah, that's it. What about number two? ¿Cómo completamos la palabra, la oración con la palabra enjoy? How can we do that? Did, did I, you, did did you, I enjoy, did you enjoy the seminar? Did you enjoy the seminar? Exactly. Lo disfrutaste, te gustó, right? Yeah, did you enjoy the seminar? Number three, need. Did you meet, they meet, meet, meet new people? Did, new you, people? did you meet? Excellent. Did you meet new people? Yeah. ¿Conociste a más personas? ¿Conoció a más personas? Yeah. Did you meet new people? Number four. Learn. Did you learn, learn something? something? Excellent. Did you learn something? Aprendió algo? Okay. <laughs> Did you learn something? We are talking about a seminar. Okay. Uh, five. It's network. Did you network in the convention? Did you network in the convention? Yes, I did. Okay. Or no, I didn't. And the last one that is exchange. Did you exchange? Did you exchange? Bush exactly. card. Exactly. Very good. Did, did you exchange business cards? Okay. Very nice. I like it. Very, very good. Now, vamos a hablar un poquito de cualquier evento que ustedes hayan tenido. We are going to talk about any event. It can be a seminar. It can be a graduation. Uh, it can be a meeting. ¿Cuál es el último evento al que fueron? What is the last event you went to? I am conference. Okay, a conference. All right. What about the rest? Conference attend the clients. Okay. The clients. Okay, so you went to a conference. The last event I went was a uh, like a premier, like a, an award ceremony, una ceremonia de grados de, de reconocimiento, something like that. It was an award ceremony. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, vamos a describir eso. We are going to describe that, all right, utilizando lo que acabamos de ver. So, we checked positive, pero vamos a también incluir un poquito de cosas negativas, okay? For example, I went on Monday, eso fue lunes. On Monday, I went to an event in Antiguo Cuscatlán, okay? So if you pay attention, ya estamos utilizando everything we checked today. I, um, I went with my sister and her friends, okay? Voy a incluir cosas que no hice, por ejemplo, o cosas que sí hice. I, yo no desayuné, okay. I didn't, ahora, I want you to pay attention to the following. I didn't have breakfast. Las negativas, ¿cómo digo cosas que no hice? Okay. 
Le voy a agregar ahí didn't, en vez de don't, lo cambio didn't. Y al igual que en presente, no cambio el verbo. Ok, I didn't have. Cuando se ve un didn't, hace ya referencia al pasado, el verbo ya no se cambia. I didn't have breakfast. Ok, so en ese momento yo no desayuné, but ellos nos dieron refrigerio. They gave us some Bre some uh, sandwiches, some food, and oh, snacks. Nice. Okay, super nice. That was very cool. And that's it. Vamos a hacer una descripción bien cortita, okay, de lo que hicieron o, o de lo que no hicieron that day. Is that fine with Teacher, you? Yes. Use some. Um, use some is. ¿Qué significa? Some uh, I'm, sandwich. This what I'm sorry. What is the some, word? Some food. Oh, some, some. No, no. I go use some. La, la dos palabras significan una sola, no. Eh, yes. This one as. Yes, yes. Use oh, some. No, no, no. En este caso, US no se refiere a Estados Unidos or anything. So US, hay un espacio acá. Y luego son. So gave us, gave es el pasado del verbo give, ok, de yes. dar, nos dieron, they gave us. So we have give and us, and gave, y us que es a nosotros, they gave us. Ellos nos dieron, el as se refiere a nosotros, a mi hermana y a mí, right? Y a las amigas de mi hermana as well. So they gave us some food. Así que don't worry ah, about okay, it. Solamente okay. se refiere a nosotros. Nos dieron. A, a nosotros. nosotros. Okay. Okay, teach. Okay, okay. Okay, guys, tienen eh, like five minutes. Vamos a hacer una descripción súper cortita del evento al que fueron. Y luego vamos a escuchar a uh, tantos como podamos. As many as we can. So, take your time. Si necesitan ayuda o que les revise algo, let me know para que lo revisemos, right? So, that is going to be really interesting. Puede empezar en un cumpleaños, en, una, uh, en un seminar, en una conference, en una graduation, en una meeting. So, any event que haya sido importante para usted. That's okay. Dicho, uh, de, del verbo being eh, es estar, ¿no? Eh, was. Es, estuve eh, well, es, ya encontré que fueron es correct mm, uh, I mean, el verbo vi vamos a usarlo de la siguiente forma you know Third. we are going to use it in the following way tenemos el presente am is an R, si se recuerdan, right? So, um, el pasado va a equivaler a was, is equivale también a was, en R, vamos a usar where. Uh, okay. So, in other words, I, you, they, and we, where. Oh, okay, and she, he, it was. Así lo utilizamos. Mm. She, he, it was. Ah, okay. Then teacher. Oh, no problem. That's okay. Hello, Hola, Miss. Acabo de leer su mensaje. Gracias. Thank you. No, no se preocupe. No worries. Yo así estuve ayer. Que no fue la and today the same. So no worries. That's fine. So estamos haciendo una breve descripción. We are checking on an event using simple past. So, acá tiene como un par de ejemplos para que nos vayamos guiando, Ingrid. I know you were not here. Así que, you know, take your time, please. 
No entiendo qué están haciendo, Ticho. Sí, estamos haciendo una descripción de un evento al que haya asistido. Puede ser una conferencia, puede ser una graduación, puede ser um, a The meeting concert. con su jefe, any, uh -huh, concert, any event, cualquier evento al, al que recientemente haya asistido. Y vamos a hacer una breve descripción de qué pasó, que okay? what happened in that event using mm -hmm. Simple Past. Podemos mm -hmm. también incluir eh, en pasado, right? Like, por ejemplo, esta de acá que dice, I didn't have breakfast. Like, I didn't eh, go with my family. I didn't sleep that night. So, yo no dormí el día anterior. I didn't sleep that night. Or anything, you know, que nos dé de detalles de qué fue lo que pasó. All right? Okay. Thank you. You are welcome. Es una descripción corta, guys. A very brief description. Teacher, no sé si estoy bien. Ayúdenme. Eh, ¿Eh? Yo puse on Tuesday I was in a meeting with the Cerite. C I C D T. Uh, me lo escribe en el chat, please. Can you write it in the chat? Okay, okay. Take a look at the word and see if there was anything in the city. Um, okay. Uh, Jesse, I'm sorry about the question. What is the meaning of CDT? Sí, el C, el CDT es el Comité de Turismo. Oh, got it, got it. Uh -huh. um, yeah, that makes sense. Ok, CDT, with the Neighborhood Committee. Uh, ok, podemos utilizar la palabra Committee, quizás, pero lo demás está súper bien. That's fine. Ok. Thank you. With the Committee. Ajá. Uh -huh.
Alrighty, guys. Si tienen alguna pregunta or you need like to double check something, me lo pueden escribir acá y con gusto se lo reviso. I can check that for you. Ahí le puse Miren, uno yo, teacher. Yeah, I, I saw that. Let me check it out. Miren a manager. No sé si se refiere a la comunidad. Eh, Elizabeth. Sí, sí. Ok, vamos a escribir sujeto verbo. Uh -huh. uh, on the week I went to Everdeen University. I went with my family. Uh, they got us a certificate. Um, I I present. I work. Um, I work. Work on speech. Um, dismissal speech. And okay. only. Nice. Okay, that was very nice. I like the vocabulary you use. Very cool. All right. Okay. But you can include then, more yeah. things. Like for example. I ooh, wait, give me one second. I made a mistake. Incluí el I en la parte de yo. Hold on, hold on. I gotta change this. For some reason, el I se me quedó con el you. Let me change it here. Y vamos a agregarlo acá. We are going to add it here. Uh, you can include your feelings. For example, I was very happy. I was excited. I was nervous. So you can include more details. Very, very nice. Okay. So, guys, ¿están listos? Are you ready? ¿Casi yes, listos? Miss. Almost yes. ready. Okay. Yes, ready. Si tienen dos oraciones, that's perfect. If no, you have no. three, if you have more, that's okay. That's totally fine. Uh, Carlos, I see Carlos' hand is up. Yes, Carlos, we listen to you. Okay. Uh, hey. The last month I assisted to the seminary of customs, but I didn't go to the hotel because the seminary was transmitted in Zoom. No. I did learn about the new procedure to work, and the seminarists did teach a lot of topics. Yes, very nice. So you included a lot of details. Very nice, Carlos. That sounds good. Very good use of past as well. You can give some emojis. Thank you, Danny, for your emoji. Guys, you can give emojis to him, you know. That was nice. Okay. Anybody else? Volunteers. Do we have any volunteers? Teacher. Yes. You Thank can you. do it. Thank <laughs> you. Go, go, please. Oh, creo que Pedrina wanted to participate. Sí, teacher, quiero ver si está bien esto, se lo digo. Of course, tell me, tell me. Bueno, on Saturday I'm going to a Brinda I wish was very interesting and innovative. Y they gone to well play. Okay, yeah, that's okay. So you went to a... a uh birthday party you said that it was very interesting and innovative but i'm sorry can you repeat the last part please Podría repetir el último pedacito, el último pedacito. Mm -hmm. eh, gam gam o sea jugar como como pronuncio eso oh they play games they ah, they play, they play games. Ajá, gam to gam ta where he plays they played games O sea, puse que los juegos que practicaron en el en el cumpleaños fueron muy interesantes. Oh, no, okay. Mm. Oh, okay. So it was about the games, got it. And games, so ajá. Play, 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 ajá. Mm -hmm. Oh, that they exactly. were played. Got it, got it. So the games that were played were very interesting. Okay, got yes. it. Yeah, that was nice. That was yeah. very cool. Thank you. Thank you, Lina. <coughs> very nice. Next person. Hi, teacher. Yes, Anis, go ahead, please. Um, on so on Sunday, I went I went to Asins Asins a uh, tribute band or 
Hey, you may you. Okay, where? Yeah. Where? In where? San Salvador, in Santa Tecla. Uh, um, at the yes, beach. San, no, uh, Santa Tecla, okay. um, Bar Medieval. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. That's it? <laughs> Do That's you it. have more details for us? What? Hi, Okay. Oh, I guess that was it. All right. Thank you. Oh. We are going to listen to Guadalupe and then we are going to go for Brian. Okay, Guadalupe, please tell us okay. about your event. The last Saturday, I went to the visit my sister and I had a surprise because my aunt, Tia, ah, yes. were, were there. Uh, we were happy to see each other again. Oh, that was very nice. Okay, so what a great surprise. Thank yeah. you, Guadalupe. Very good pronunciation. I'm glad. Okay, nice. Brian, the Brian. Please go, Brian. Okay, the Sunday I went to classes from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Then I went to the office to find, go finish report. Uh, Rene Bow Bread. Um, I made a coffee. When I finished it, I went to visit my mom. She cooked a uh, chicken. Then I drove to my house. Very mm. nice. Okay, it sounds like the routine for Sunday. All right. Thank you. That was a very good description. Solamente eh, quizás en Sunday. Eh, no recuerdo qué palabra me suena al inicio. Cambiémoslo por on. On Sunday. Lo demás okay. super bien. The that was Sunday. perfect. Oh, okay. last Sunday. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, creo que escuché something else. But okay, thank you so much. That was good. Next, creo que René quería participar. I think you said René. René was ready. René or Mark? Oh, René. Yes. Oh, René. Okay, thank you. Creo que también escuché a alguien más, but I couldn't identify the voice. I'm Yo sorry. Again? For the... Uh, okay, My okay, routine so on we go some, with uh, last Sunday, mm -hmm. I walk out. Uh, I don't know if I, it's uh, me, Fraser. pero se me está cover. Yeah, it's, it's breaking. Yeah. Breaking, yeah. René no se escucha. René, can you listen to us? Yes, it's que está cortado. Sleep. Yeah, so it's not only my internet. Mm. Okay. Renee, I'm sorry. It's breaking. So it's breaking a lot. But hopefully he can fix that. Okay. But in the meantime, había más personas. So who else? Who was that? I don't know if that was Brenda. So Brenda? Yeah, right? Me, yeah. Hi, teacher. Oh, Anna. Please, Anna. Go ahead. Please, Anna, you. tell me. No, no, no. Elia, <laughs> on Wait. Sunday oh, I Jasmine. went to birthday in the mall. In oh, no, on Sunday I went to birthday the my mother. I went my family. We ate the pizza and pie. That's it. Eso es todo. That's it. Talia. Eso es todo. Eso es todo. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that was very nice, Elia. I'm sorry about your name. Lo que pasa es que todavía me estoy acostumbrando a las voces. Yo tengo una. <laughs> so I got you confused. But thank you. That was very nice. Marvin. Hey, Marvin. Yes, Bye. go ahead. La mía, espérame. Okay. He said, on Monday, I went to a meeting with some friends to talk about soccer. Solo eso no se dice bien. Yeah, that was good. So you had a meeting and to play soccer, right? Uh, talk or talk, talking. Okay. No sé talk. Qué. Yeah, to talk. All right. Oh. Yeah, but that was nice. I mean, yeah, you're using it nicely. Thank you. Anybody else? We got 27. So we have a lot of people here. Anybody else? Well, Yo, me. Me. Yes, please. Yo, tell me. me. Tell me, Miriam. Por Ingrid. 
Siempre nos confunde, ¿verdad, teacher? Yeah, ¿Cómo? lo que sucede es que suddenly I hear like voices here, ok. Ingrid, sí, pero ahorita las dos hablamos. No, ahorita hablamos las dos. Yeah, I heard you. Pero fue too, Miriam okay. primero, no sé si va a empezar ella primero. I think it's fine, you can get started and then we can have Miriam, that's ok. Ok, bye. Ok, sería. El mío es en Sunday, um, was the celebration on the My New. No sé cómo se pronuncia sobrino. Newfa, Newfa, Newfa. Nephew. 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 Es song, eh, es sing, no sé si me equivoqué ahí, es sing o song. Song. Yeah, song a lot. A sang. We sang. Song, wish. Sang. 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 Ah, yeah, we sang a lot. Okay, no, but the rest is very nice. I like your description and that was very clear. All right. And Claribel, there you go, Claribel. Zero. Okay, miss. Um, last weekend with my family, We went to my best friend's wedding. We had a great afternoon. The pool, the music, and the play, we love it very much. Okay, mm. nice. That was good. I really like to hear that you had some fun. Nice. Okay, I think we are having time for one more person uh, or two, yes, probably. Yes. yes, Brenda, go ahead. On Sunday, I went to a um, pool party. I mm. went I went with my children and my sisters. I did have a snack, drinks, cake, candies, and music. My chin okay. my children were happy. No sé si se está bien. But yeah, happy. wow. Happy. That was nice. Now my children wear. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah, oh. yeah, that's good. But I was very hot. So yes, it, it was it <laughs> was very hot. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. Caluroso. Very nice. I like it. So I like the details you included too. That was very good. Okay. What are um, my lives? So what who else? Drink, drink happy. <laughs> okay. no. So only, only drink soda. And, uh, boom. It was a family party, <laughs> they said. All right, now yeah. well, that sounds super good. Okay, anybody else? celebration for Dani. Yeah, so I, I got <laughs> no, a couple no, of no, you guys no, are no, still no, missing. No. So tell me, I don't know if you are ready, Elizabeth. <laughs> Abigail, I don't know if you like to participate. Uh, Natalie also, so I'm missing you girls. So uh, Giovanni, I'm missing Giovanni as well. So anybody else, anybody else? Moses, yes, Moses, excellent. Tell me, go, Moses, go. <laughs> At the last Saturday at the beach party with my friends, got me some beer and meat. They didn't give me water. We have spent one day at the place. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> All right. I I'm so sorry. Yeah. Where did you go? To the party? You, you said you went to, to a party? The beach party. Oh, beach. Oh, oh yes. okay. Where? Where did you go? La Libertad. Okay. Any really? specific place that you recommend us to go? Tunco Beach. Tunco Beach. Oh, you went to El Tunco oh. Beach. Did you go at night? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. You see you, Moses. Okay, guys, I'm super impressed with your performance and I'm super happy as well. You did a very good job in Simple Pass. It's la primera vez que vemos este tema, you know? But you got it, you grasped it. 
So I'm super excited because, you know, there are a lot of things that we can do. Los escucho con la parte de listening and, and you are improving listening a lot. So, de hecho, casi hablo, ya no hablo mucho español. So I'm like very happy, you know. So super, super cool. I'm super, you know, happy with, with your uh, everyday performance. So, vamos, eh, I heard some of your requests que son más o menos con like pronunciation and uh, listening of verbs. I know that they are very important. Y también te, debemos de trabajar un poquito con la parte de, de speaking, getting familiar with verbs. Entonces lo que vamos a hacer es the following, and we are going to start with this. Eh, en la plataforma, in the platform, les aparece speaking homework number one, ok? Y esta tarea es solamente de speaking. All right, get your phone, graban una nota de voz, ok, la pueden subir a su drive, o si les permite subirla a la plataforma, pues that's even better. Eh, Todos tienen drive, ¿saben cómo utilizar su drive? ¿Qué? No. Es. Ok, so, I can't remember. si tienen un correo, si tienen un correo de Gmail, You know, drive. en la parte de Gmail, exactly, en la parte de arriba dice Drive. Entonces, lo único que vamos a hacer es le da clic en Drive y lo que ustedes tengan, lo, como lo guardan ahí, lo ponen ahí y eso es todo. Él les va a generar un link personal y es el, el que me van a poner en la tarea. Eso es todo. That's super, super easy. Creo que todos tienen un email. Ahora es más como tener email de Drive. Perdón, un email de... Gmail. Eh, que sea Gmail, exacto. No Gmail, Hotmail, yeah. no Yahoo, but Gmail. ¿Todos tienen uno? Do you have one? Sí. Yes. 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 Y si no, los teléfonos tienen la opción también de tener como una, una, eh, una nube, right? Some of your phones ya tienen la opción de guardar en una nube especial. Yes. You know? Entonces, that's fine. Igual le genera un link. So, lo que vamos a hacer, y de hecho ya la pueden mm. ver, se llama What did you do yesterday? Ok. Oh. Um, ah, so, pretty much, es, ¿qué es lo que hicieron ayer? Uh -huh. yeah. So, uh, yesterday, ok. And give me one second. Give me one second. No en aparece. el mismo lugar, no les aparece todavía. Ok, no. ahorita lo filtro. En el mismo lugar donde encontraron los verbos, you know, in the same place. Eh, les voy a compartir cómo se ve la plataforma. Let me share the platform. So, les aparece acá unit number one y luego les aparece speaking homework speaking. number one. Okay? ok. So, here it says, What did you do yesterday? ¿Qué hicieron ayer? Puede ser de ahora, you know, puede ser de ayer miércoles. That's ok. Lo único que quiero que hagan es que lo escriban, you know, you write it down. Revisen cómo se pronuncian estos yes, verbos. Ya en simple past. Ok, en, y acá no van a escribir nada, solamente si ya tienen el audio, vienen, pegan el link y luego clic en enviar y eso es todo. That's it. Um, let me see. No, if I'm not mistaken, lo pueden ingresar también como un hipervínculo and that's all right. Ya, yeah. oh, that's it. Acá les aparece también la descripción del vínculo. So you can do it this way. O solamente pegan el link acá y eso es todo. Ok. So, si tienen dificultades, let me know para poder eh, buscar otra opción de donde escucharlo. But this is like the point of contact number one. Vamos a comenzar con eso para ver cómo nos va con Simple Past y si es necesario agregar algo más o si estamos like súper bien con eso. Um, do you have any, any question with the homework? Are we okay with this? No, teacher. No questions. Si alguien tiene no. dificultades, please no. let me know para ver de qué manera los compañeros nos ayudan de soporte. Yes, this homework sí es para mañana. This homework is for tomorrow porque es de listening and speaking, you know. So, escúchense tantas veces como sea necesario, you know. Si les sale mal, vuelvan a hacerlo para que vayamos practicando y mejorando pronunciation too. Now, okay, antes de dejarlo así. Eh, es uno, I mean, es como entre 30 segundos, un minuto, está perfecto. That's total, total y good. Solo déjenme confirmar rapidito quienes me hacían falta de asistencia. René ya está con nosotros. 
Ana ya sí también. Ángel ya lo vi por ahí también. Marvin ya está. Super good. Ignacio está con nosotros. Ignacio, no, he's not here. Eh, Brian, let me see. Se podrá por ese medio. Lo que pasa es que nos piden que quede evidencia. But that's why. Si alguien tiene dificultades usando Drive, let me know. Eh, voy a ver si les puedo compartir un, eh, un video cortito también de cómo hacerlo, right? Para que lo puedan subir. Already, everybody. So thanks a lot. That was a very nice participation today. Super productive. Nos vemos el día de mañana. Revisa tus verbos antes de venir, you know, and I'll be seeing you. Solo me regala un segundito. Let me see. Denme un momento. Just let me make sure. I have one on one session with. Okay, I don't see it. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. No, that, that's totally fine. Ya les escribo en WhatsApp. I'm going to write okay. to you in WhatsApp so you don't have to stay okay. here. Okay. All right. Thank you guys. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. No, no eating, Brenda. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.